yo, it's the Confucius of expat relocating. We are gonna go take a walk around this little Chinatown where we're staying. So we're staying in a luxury building called The Bridge. It's pretty dope. It's got like connecting bridges between the buildings and like a rooftop pool. And with the first couple of days, we've just been getting acclimated. We're gonna do a video on the building because the building is pretty wild. But tonight we wanted to show you the neighborhood the building's in. I feel like I'm in China, it's crazy. It's a little bit expensive. I, I've been taking the tuk-tuk down towards Russian market and doing my eating and like stuff around there mostly. But um, this is an interesting neighborhood. I don't know about for living, but for first like landing, it's okay. So let's have a look. This is pretty incredible, guys. It's like you're in Beijing in the middle of Phnom Penh. Uh, pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, there's Chinese food everywhere, alleyways. It's like a real little Chinatown. This is very cool. We're gonna go try to wander around some of these little alleys and see what we see. I gotta say guys, this is a pretty epic place to be walking around. I'm definitely, uh, was not expecting this. This is pretty dope. It's like Chinatown in the middle of Phnom Penh, but uh, like a Chinese vacation spot because they have everything, like they have their karaoke spots. Remix. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, look at this. Uh, I was not expecting this tonight. Cool cushion. <laughs> this is so cool. Look, they got a pharmacy. Yeah. They got everything. Yo, I like it. I, I honestly, guys, like, you know, I'm always interested in these kind of ways that cultures mix match and intertwine. And uh, I mean, the Chinese are definitely out here strong, you know? This is, this is definitely set up completely for them. And, uh, the food smells pretty good. It's mm. just more expensive than it is to go and get some Khmer food, like a lot more. Um, everything around here is a lot more expensive, but it's it, still- It really is set up like China though. It's, like, it's this set, is what it looks it's like. It's set up like China. I know, I it's feel like I'm back in Xi'an. Yeah, they have all the tables outside, remember? Yeah. Like yeah. big tables. It's, it's a mix though. You see the Khmer culture too, but the employees are Khmer. Yes, yes. And some of the kids it's hanging both. out here are Khmer. Yeah, it's definitely both. Yeah, this is, this is cool. It's interesting. So this is the building we've been staying in, guys. I don't know how well it's gonna film tonight, but yeah, this is the building we're staying in. It's uh, pretty massive. Transportation has not been any kind of an issue at all. 
I mean, it's pretty safe. The sidewalks are elevated, so the bikes aren't coming on them as much. Um, yeah, it's interesting. What do you think? You should like it? Yeah, it's very cool. Just a little bit of a pricey area, you know, if you want to steal V or... What do you think, 700, Jack? Like an apartment? It looks yeah. like, from what I'm hearing, like 700, 800. Yeah, it's expensive. You know, if you want to live out here, and maybe 850. Yeah, and all these restaurants are expensive. Yeah, and honestly, like they are going to be about like three to four dollars more. I mean, they were trying to give me some vegetables and some rice for like four bucks, and then they wanted three dollars for a piece of tofu. And I just go out to this Kamai spot that I like out in the Russian market, and it's two dollars a dish with all the rice and all the tea you can drink. So I don't know. I mean, this definitely appeals to a certain type of tourist, you know, from uh, from China, but. <laughs> The food does look pretty good. I mean, there's like, you definitely have some good ass Chinese food over here. And uh, like I said, transportation is a non-issue. So it's pretty cool. I definitely was not expecting this. Look, they got like a Chinese supermarket here. That's interesting. Lots of fruit stands as usual everywhere in Southeast Asia. expensive here like it's about six or seven uh, USD a dish like for one dish so and a lot of the shops look like more expensive
guys, that was it. That's uh, Phnom Penh Chinatown. It's a little bit dead right now because of, you know, COVID. Cambodia just opened up, so it is a little bit dead, but still pretty cool. Are you thinking of living, investing, buying property, buying land, working, or spending any significant time in Cambodia? Cambodia is an amazing country that offers a wide range of different opportunities for someone who has an open mind. If you're thinking about coming to Cambodia for the first time, we offer a consulting service for people who are looking to have everything done for them before they arrive. They want their housing contacts, their employment, their consultants, whatever they want to find in the country, they want it set up. That's what we do for you. We make it easy so that you don't have to worry about scams, problems, or other pitfalls that new expats face in this amazing country. Hey, what's up? I'm Dee from Canada. Hook up with the New York Nomad if you want a smooth ride into Vietnam or any Southeast Asian countries. Hey, my name is Aaron. Get in contact with the New York Nomad. If you want to get into Vietnam, hit them up. They'll get you in securely and professionally. Yo, this is Uncle Hollywood. I'm telling you right now, the New York Nomad got me a job. He's legit. Hit him up. Check him out. New York Nomad set me up in Vietnam. <laughs> Yo, my man got me a job. Come to Vietnam. Hey, what's up guys? You thinking about coming to Vietnam? You're not sure where to start? You've heard a lot of things online. You don't know what's true. You don't know what's not. We offer a consulting service where we help you get on your feet in Vietnam. We give you advice on negotiating contracts with employers. We help you with real estate agents, visa agents that are reliable and that you can trust. We help you get started in this amazing country and get on your feet. We help you get into different opportunities that might be more difficult for you if you were just landing in the country on your own. And we help you avoid a lot of the, the pitfalls and problems problems that you could have as a newcomer here. We provide you with reliable job recruiters, visa agents, real estate agents, and advice. If you guys are thinking about coming to Vietnam, hit us up for a consultation. We'll help you get started, help you get on your feet, and hopefully you'll love Vietnam as much as we do.